What's hotter than hot? How about Las Vegas in August? Editor TV is on the ground to find out how the design community parties Viva Las Vegas style. I'm Sophie Donaldson, you're watching Editor TV. Tell me, how do you bring a little bit of Las Vegas into the home? Oh, God. You, I think every sh home should have a little Las Vegas. With a showgirl on one side and the husband on the other, I don't know what to say. Okay, but how do you do it? How do I do it? Bringing in vibrant colors, bright lights, great lighting. That's how you can bring Las Vegas into every home. What about sequins? Sequins? I think I'll be wearing sequins, but I'm not sure every home will. Feathers? Definitely. Definitely feathers on every house. So what are you going to do to glam up your night tonight? Well, we will definitely be dancing probably until 2 or 3 in the morning. Wake up at 6, get dressed, and be here tomorrow at 8. Awesome. So what are you going to do at night? At night, well, I was, uh, I don't know if I can mention that. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. Uh, um, you know, I'm going to check out a couple of shows, um, walk the strip, uh, just see what's, eat the buffets, maybe two or three at a time. Who knows? That sounds so, so PG, Sparkle. Come on. Oh, I have to keep it PG. I'm from the South. So how do you bring a little Las Vegas into the home? A little Las Vegas into the home. Um, well, a little bit of gloss. Bring something a little glossy, you know, a little leather, maybe a little, little chrome nail head. I mean, Vegas is, you know, you wear your pumps, you put your gloss on, it's Vegas. People are excited. I think any... Any home decor item that has energy and personality says Vegas. I think something that is maybe out of character for your ordinary life. So if you're here at market purchasing a piece of great artwork or a sculpture or something that maybe doesn't necessarily even fit into your environment, something to remind you that you know you need a little excitement in your life and a little bit of spark that is Vegas bound. If you can't get inspiration in Vegas, I don't know where you could because there's just so much um, sort of quirkiness uh, that I think you could draw from. What is the uh, ingredient that could most artfully describe Vegas? A single ingredient. Single ingredient. Alcohol. <laughs> the ingredient for the designers tonight. Well, one ingredient would be cactus. <laughs> Welcome to the desert. So here we have a little peach sanguia, mm. which has a little bit of champagne in it little Cointreau and homemade duck sausage with a little uh, heirloom tomato jam. I may not be able to talk for the rest of the evening, but that's okay. Do you warn people about that? <laughs> it's pretty stiff. Huh? It's delicious. Name one ingredient that embodies the spirit of Las Vegas. I think it'll be alcohol. <laughs> yeah. That would be mine. That's your cigarette. Cigarette. So what is the appropriate dinner hour in Las Vegas? All night long. You should come here and you should go out and you should ramp it up as the evening goes. And by the end of the evening, you should have something that you don't want to tell somebody back home. If you can't get there, you probably haven't done it right. You've been watching Editor TV at Las Vegas World Market where things are just heating up. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.